Good day, everyone, and welcome to Learn English with Blaine. This is your advanced dictation number 54. And again, we are focusing on the present continuous used to refer to actions that are happening in the future. Now, do you have your pen and your paper ready? Because remember that you are going to listen and then write what you hear. Now, in this video, there will be five dictations. I will say each one three times. After you write your dictation on your paper, you will underline the subjects, the present continuous verbs, and the future time expressions. So here is an example. So if I say to you, my friends and I are dropping by the mall tomorrow after school, period. My friends and I are dropping by the mall tomorrow after school. You will write this on your paper like this. And then you will look for the subjects and the present continuous verbs. Now, in this case, my friends and I, this is the subject, and then are dropping by is the, is the present continuous verb. Now, dropping by is what we call a phrasal verb because it's one verb that's made up of two or more words. That is what we call a phrasal verb. Okay, so let's get started with. Oh, and one more thing is tomorrow after school, tomorrow after school is the future time expression. So my friends and I is the subject, are dropping by is the phrasal verb, and tomorrow after school is the future time expression. Okay, so let's get started with our dictation number one. Dictation number one. Later today, we are having a picnic with a bunch of friends, period. The weather forecast says it will be hot and sunny, comma, so it should be a great day, exclamation. Later today, we are having a picnic. Later today, we are having a picnic with a bunch of friends with a bunch of friends period the weather forecast the weather forecast says it will be hot and sunny says it will be hot and sunny comma so it should be a great day exclamation so, it should be a great day, exclamation. So, I'll just give you a couple more seconds to finish your dictation. And this is the dictation. Later today, we are having a picnic with a bunch of friends period. The weather forecast says it will be hot and sunny, comma, so it should be a great day, exclamation. Later today, we are having a picnic with a bunch of friends. The weather forecast says it will be hot and sunny, so it should be a great day. So that's the dictation. Now let's see if we can find the subject and the present continuous verb. Yeah, so we is the subject and are having is the present continuous verb. We are having. Now, what about the future time expression? That is right here. Later today. Later today. So sometimes we can put the future time expression at the beginning of a sentence or we can put it at the end of the sentence as well. Okay, so let's move along 
to our next dictation. Dictation number two. Mariana is driving to work tomorrow because she lost her bus pass. Period. She can give you a ride if you need one. Period. Mariana is driving to work tomorrow. Mariana is driving to work tomorrow because she lost her bus pass. Because she lost her bus pass. Period. She can give you a ride. She can give you a ride if you need one. If you need one. Period. Okay, this is the dictation. Mariana is driving to work tomorrow because she lost her bus pass. Period. She can give you a ride if you need one. Period. Mariana is driving to work tomorrow because she lost her bus pass. She can give you a ride if you need one. Okay, now what about the subject and the present continuous verb? Those are right here. So, Mariana is driving. Mariana is driving. Now, what about the future time expression? Well, that is right here. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mariana is driving tomorrow. Subject, present continuous verb, and future time expression. So we're going to move along now to our next dictation, number three. My son is leaving for school in five minutes, period. He is already late, comma, but I think the teacher will be okay with that because he's usually early, period. My son is leaving for school. My son is leaving for school in five minutes. In five minutes. Period. He is already late, comma. He is already late, comma. But I think the teacher, but I think the teacher, will be okay with that, will be okay with that because he's usually early. Because he's usually early, period. Okay, so let's give you a moment to finish your writing. And this is the dictation right here. My son is leaving for school in five minutes, period. He is already late, comma. But I think the teacher will be okay with that because he's usually early, period. My son is leaving for school in five minutes. He is already late. But I think the teacher will be okay with that because he's usually early. That's the dictation. Now, can you find the subject and the present continuous verb? Yeah, right here. So, my son, my son is the subject, is leaving, is leaving, is the present continuous verb, and the future time expression is in five minutes. In Five minutes. Okay, so let's move along to our next dictation. Dictation number four. My co workers and I are cleaning our new office building 
a little later in the month, period. There will be a lot of work to do, period. Would you like to help us? Question mark. Would you like to help us? Question mark. My coworkers and I, my coworkers and I are cleaning our new office building. Are cleaning our new office building. A little later in the month. A little later in the month. Period. There will be a lot of work to do. Period. There will be a lot of work to do. Period. Would you like to help us? Would you like to help us? Question mark. Question mark. Okay, so here is the dictation. My coworkers and I are cleaning our new office building a little later in the month. Period. There will be a lot of work to do. Period. Would you like to help us? Question mark. My coworkers and I are cleaning our new office building a little later in the month. There will be a lot of work to do. Would you like to help us? Okay, now let's look for the subject and the present continuous verb. Right there. So, my coworkers and I is the subject. Are cleaning. Are cleaning. That is the present continuous verb. Now, what about the future time expression? Yeah. A little later in the month. A little later in the month. That is the future time expression in this dictation. Okay, everyone, we're now going to move on to our dictation number five. This is our last dictation of this video. The last dictation of this video. And it's kind of a long one, so I'm going to go a little bit slower. The man I helped cross the street last week is coming over for supper this evening with his wife. Period. I invited him over because he was so nice and appreciative. Exclamation. The man I helped cross the street. The man I helped cross the street last week last week is coming over for supper is coming over for supper this evening with his wife period this evening with his wife period i invited him over i invited him over because he was so nice because he was so nice and appreciative and appreciative exclamation Okay, so this is what I said. <clears throat> the man I helped cross the street last week is coming over for supper this evening with his wife. Period. I invited him over because he was so nice and appreciative. Appreciative. Exclamation. 
The man I helped cross the street last week is coming over for supper this evening with his wife. I invited him over because he was so nice and appreciative. Okay, so what do you think here? What is the subject and the present continuous verb? It's right here. So, the man I helped cross the street. This is the complete subject. The man I helped cross the street. The present continuous verb is is coming over, is coming over. And again, this is what we call a phrasal verb, a phrasal verb. Now, what about the future time expression? Yeah, that is this evening this evening. So we can use this evening as a future time expression. Well, everyone, I want to thank you for watching this video and for, for, and for participating. For more information about the present continuous, check out the links in the description. My website is currently under construction, but more content and exercises are being added on a weekly basis. Now, if you go to my website now, you will find there's, there's actually an exercise there that you can do. And that exercise is a PDF, and you will find it um, on my website in the, with the link that I'm going to leave in the description box. Thank you so much, everyone. I really do appreciate you all for your participating and for watching the video. And leave your comments or questions in the comments section if you have any questions about this video or anything else. And remember, if you like the video, please remember to share, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good day, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.